All right, the first thing we're going to do is create the students table. So we're going to use them. We use this as an example to say register your pupils or your users into your database. So what I've done, I've done student ID, name, surname, email, and then username, password, and password two. Password two will be confirmed to make sure password one and password two is the same. And the table name is students. So it will go inside my grade 11 folder. So let's go go. And as you can see, it's been created. So the first one I put it as int and is auto increase, auto increment, and it's a primary key. Rest of them are just kept as varchar. Now what we're going to do is create the front end registration page. Now, now I've created the registration page, the same field as I have on my um, PHP my admin. So I've got password two here, but I've called it here confirm password. But if we look at the code, I've called it password two. So all this will link with the database. Now I'm going to try to run it. So I'm going to go into my local host, local host, grade 11 register page. That's the one I created. It's there, so let me just type in some detail. So if say if I forgot to um child we hold at nis.edu.kz uh call it Mahmoud again password I'm gonna call it one two three four and confirm password again one two three four I'm gonna submit takes me to the user page Let's go and check if it's the data going inside our database. So we head inside the students, and as you can see, the data went inside the database. Okay, so let me just go through the. So this is the normal um, registration page with all the forms. The only important part here is this. Post takes me to one PHP. On my one PHP, we did the same thing as we done before. So connect to my database, then name, name, surname, surname, email, email. Username, username, password, password, password two, password two. Then I've got the SQL query here. Let me just make it into full code. So SQL query insert into students. That's the table name, name, surname, username, password from the values what I enter in my register page. And then once it's entered, take me to the login page. So now this is my database connection page. It's the same localhost root grade 11. That's basically that's done. So three things. All I did was expanded this and added this on. This stayed the same. And on my register page, um, same thing as before. 